Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we will be discussing one of the most fascinating creatures that inhabit freshwater ecosystems, the hydra. These tiny creatures have been the focus of scientific research for decades due to their remarkable regenerative abilities and their unique body structure. Physical Characteristics The hydra is a freshwater invertebrate that belongs to the phylum Cnidaria. They are usually no more than a few millimeters long and are typically found attached to aquatic vegetation or rocks. The body of the hydra is a tubular shape, with a foot at one end that it uses to attach to surfaces. At the other end, the hydra has a ring of tentacles that it uses to capture and immobilize its prey. Feeding Habits the hydra is a predatory animal that feeds on small aquatic organisms, such as crustaceans and small insects. Its tentacles are covered in tiny, stinging cells called cnidocytes, which contain harpoon-like structures that shoot out and immobilize prey. Once captured, the hydra uses its tentacles to bring the prey into its mouth, which is located in the center of the tentacle ring. Habitat Hydras can be found in freshwater ecosystems all around the world. They prefer calm waters with plenty of vegetation, as this provides shelter and a source of food. Hydras are able to survive in a wide range of water temperatures and conditions, which allows them to thrive in many different types of freshwater environments. Reproduction Hydras are able to reproduce both sexually and asexually. In sexual reproduction, male and female hydras release gametes into the water, which then fertilize and form a zygote. The zygote develops into a larva, which eventually settles on a surface and grows into a mature hydra. In asexual reproduction, the hydra simply buds off a small piece of its body, which then grows into a fully functional hydra. Predators Despite their ability to immobilize prey, Hydras have a number of natural predators. Fish, birds, and aquatic insects are all known to feed on hydras, and some larger invertebrates, such as snails, will even use the hydra's tentacles as a source of food. Regenerative Abilities One of the most remarkable features of the hydra is its regenerative abilities. If a hydra is cut in half, both halves can regenerate into complete and functioning organisms. This is due to the presence of stem cells in the hydra's body, which are able to differentiate into any type of cell needed for regeneration. Research Importance The study of the hydra has been important in the field of regeneration research, as it has provided insights into the cellular and molecular mechanisms that underlie this process. Scientists have also used the hydra as a model organism to study the evolution of animal body plans and the development of specialized structures, such as the nervous system. Medical Research The hydra has also been studied for its potential medical applications. Researchers have found that some of the proteins and enzymes produced by hydras have anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. These properties could potentially be used to develop new treatments for a variety of medical conditions, including arthritis and skin infections. Closing Perspectives In conclusion, the hydra is a fascinating creature that is an important subject of scientific research. Its regenerative abilities and unique body structure make it a valuable model organism for studying a wide range of biological processes. We hope you found this video informative and interesting. Thank you for watching.